up. And so now we're talking about causal directional flow. If you don't know the flow of the causal directional flow, then you don't know, bro, you know? He attempted to wrap vainly into the Delta Tower. <coughs> Let me illustrate tonight. <coughs> My knowledge, limited as it is, of God and the Apocalypse. Compared to that of you, the mortals, with me as a conduit of some kind of rational understanding in the interim. I don't think of time and space like any of you do. I think of it much more rapidly than the geologists, and much more expertly than the hectic. Let's press on. Tonight we're going to go through a lot of shit, okay? I have to tell you all this so that we can save the world from nuclear obliteration. Because the world doesn't want nuclear obliteration, does it? Actually, if you're sane, you probably think that was quite a bad idea. So let's press on, forward, in hope, trying. Trying to find some meaning in this pained life where we suffer so often for fuck all. That's why you're all very brave, and that's why some of you are even quite heroic. And I commend many of you for taking part and showing true bally spirit in the name of hope, decency, peace and love. Because without those things, we are lost as a species. And I'm going to prove it to you tonight on a cellular level. I want you to think about eyes. Retina, cornea, pupil all part of the ocular system, okay? They are gelatin-based eyes that humans possess. Having met higher species of light, who don't operate with eyes per se because they're made of just light, it made me question what is, what is the forms of perception and reality. Now let's look at flies. A fly's eye is built very much on a complicated system of many tiny little aspects of their oculus situation. What you have, and that's not even a half hour, I've got to fill this mother out. And we're going to do this, because this is what I want to show you. I want to show you something tonight, pretty profound and important, right? Because I had a miracle in 2017. It was indisputable to me. Scientists will pr protest and go, no, no, bloody delusional maniac. But I'm sorry, but they weren't there. I was. I know exactly what happened to me after my prayer. And thank God for that. And thank God for God. Because God really is great. When you believe in him. So he must have learned. Through the efforts of the time, trying to explain something very fundamental, which is actually very deep and complicated. A compound eye of a fly is made up of tiny cells. I don't know what they're officially called in eye science, or the study of biology of insects, which is the name I can't remember at this point, it begins with B. But a fly's compound eye, compound is the key word. It very much looks like that compared to our eye. Which looks like that. Now while this is arguably the gateway to the soul, the insect being far more small and agile and able in, especially with a fly, the way they fly, literally, is incredible if you think about it. And I once worked out to outsmart a fly in order to kill it, you have to think ahead of its 400 times the speed of reaction that it has compared to humans. So for instance, if you want to swat a fly, place your hands just above it towards its upper vertical takeoff position and swipe because it will see the movement of the shadows quicker, 400 times quicker, than we humans cogitate. However, you can ascertain for its flight path 
on establishing its realization of a shadow form changing. So you go for the clap, it sees the shadow, it launches, and it launches because it's not intelligent, it's just very reactive to stimulus, and it launches into your clap, and you've scotted the fly like that. And that's how you kill flies, by being very smart and looking ahead of their own little minds. <coughs> However, what can we learn from a, a fly's eye and how it perceives? If it's perceiving 400 times more rapidly than a human being at one stimulus level, then let's just consider for a while this huge theory. And it is a huge theory. Because if God is omniscient and all-seeing and all-wise and omnipotent, he is all-seeing. Potentially, let's not quibble over minutia, let's just associate the knowledge of God with a exterior spiritual force that is all seeing. How the dickens would that be possible? Okay, well, let's think about it, shall we, children? This is the big eye, the human eye, the big three dimensional pressed into a real incarnation of a multi user dimension on Earth world way. It's the big reptilian eye, sort of, but it's not quite reptilian. And it's certainly not sheep or goat either. Sheep or goats have slits for pupils, which you may not believe. But I have photographic evidence for, because we own sheep. So anyway, the point is, the compound eye is a much more specific cluster of cellular technology biologically. For the fly to see where it's going at a much higher velocity. Okay? So when it's negotiating high pain, high velocity flight paths in the air, at its very rapid speed for a little bastard, Okay, it's picking up data, light and dark, right, fluctuations in frequencies of photons, and it's doing it much more rapidly than humans per se negotiate, especially when they're off their tits. So the point is, what makes an eye a visual form of ocular recognition? Is it purely the human eye, or the reptilian eye? Not very well illustrated, obviously. Okay, so let's look at this. Look how small the particles are. And they all pick up light frequencies of data for the sentient animal that, re in that is involved in it, that requires it, that depends on it, is the word I'm looking for, if I can get it all out in one sentence without fucking up. Sorry about that little outburst. I just hate my errors and my imperfections and my ignorance. But, you know, we can all be excused with these fundamental forms of reality as long as we keep trying and persevering and just seeking to do better and understand a bit more. So it was looking at the fly's compound eye and knowing the miracle of God after I prayed in 2017 and how God answered with opening the vortex and placing a particle into my heart that I realised God is all hearing, all listening, all seeing. So the atmosphere we live in is arguably sentient, okay? Now how is that feasible, okay? Well, look how small the particles are in a fly's eye. And they all pick up light and respond to the data behind the intelligence, okay? So what if it boils down, I beg your pardon, to the atomic level, and even atoms have a light processing method that allows them to perceive, and dark matter is merely the perception of ourselves that we can't see, because we haven't begun to look at the universe objectively at the level required to understand the long-term knowledge of an infinite, omnipotent, omniscient God. Okay? We look at God in the modern safety world of our sweet little ways as a moral objective sort of ancient lunacy. Whereas actually God is still very much a real and ever-present incumbent spirit of healing and beauty and adore. Should you plug into the reception field that he allocates for all. But so many defy it. So many fight the word of God, thinking him evil, because they would rather do people up the wrong. And this is quite, quite embarrassing for humanity, angels, and all the decent alike. And it's driving people insane. Okay? People are living in their fear of their lives. Because other thugs, sometimes they're murderers. Murderous thugs, for instance, want to kill people, sometimes, for doing them up the wrong, right? And not them. If, if, you, if someone did me up the wrong, I want to kill them, right? But they, they want to kill people they don't know. People who want it done up the wrong by someone else who wants to do something up the wrong get targeted by people who don't like that and the murderers want to kill the people who mutually want to do each other up the wrong, right? But so ignoring them, let's ignore, let's ignore the prejudice and hostility against the homosexual world for this moment and think about the murderers. They're just as fucked and damned and gone to hell on Judgment Day as the 
sexually impure. And can I just say, there is nothing wrong with loving your brother. If two men live together and they don't indulge in carnal activity, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Why should there be? It's human, you know? People like each other when they meet someone they soul jail with. It doesn't mean all that evil, nasty, revolting crap. Some people are really quite decent, diligent, intelligent and cerebral and just like the company of fine fellows. I personally enjoy the company of a beautiful woman, but when that beautiful woman turns into a wretched old nightmare, then I'm, uh, I'm concerned too, for the sake of humanity and all who rest within her. So it is within this that I postulate my final aspect of the theorem, which is maybe atomic level cellular existence can see, and dark matter is what they see being processed which we can't see because we're little fucking nuts compared to the grand extrapolation network of the ultramatter. Okay? Think outside the box. Don't think about your day to day shit. That's just a path to nowhere. Go with God. Consider what we know about God, which isn't much, but it's definitely more than nothing. And crack on and, uh, whew, well, just keep living and laughing, I say, kids. Alright? So keep on loving, keep on laughing, and keep on playing and creating. Because you know we ain't out of here. Not until the fat lady sings and she's been cancelled. It's been excellent. It's been so excellent I spent ages putting up all these pieces of paper just to do that and that which wasn't my initial plan. But you know, who cares? Who cares? Having said that, I will go back to drawing the board with a little further information for your delectation. I have five minutes left on one print of a 20 minute field. I'm going to use it to all my knowledge. Let's discuss the apocalypse. Russia is doing that on a block. Right? They're trying to take over a little area of land. And that's not very nice, is it? Can you shoot someone happily in the name of feeling superior? Well, I can't, but others can. Maybe it's because they're superior. But let's look at the people who shoot each other who think they're superior, shall we? All right, let's study them. The Nazis, the fascists, the Russians, the hip-hop rappers, okay? They all have a reputation for shooting people uh, because they think they're better than everyone else or something, right? But they're murderers too. They're murderers too. So they all burn. They all burn in hell, okay? Don't worry, we got God. And uh, without repentance, everyone's screwed. That is a wholly known fact. So we press on. What else? What else? People who live in fear, right? Yes, people who live in fear are going to hell as well. Did you know this, children? I don't live in fear. I live in bamboozlement and concern for the people who live in fear. But that's just because I'm caring and empathic and very, very sweet. So I press on diligently through the wildebeest of hour. And that's what I'm going to do tonight, because I just don't want to do anything else. I'm feeling the sentiments of the vectors. And I'm hearing the word of the turf. And anything you can't do, you can't do. But anything you can do, you should control it. Sure, shank, can't push. Got you there, didn't I? And that's the trick of the game. Keep them going until the end with a twist. And a joke and a spiel and a pun and a, uh, an ending that they didn't see coming. Okay? So remember, it's all about your genitals. And there's nothing to be feared about in that, clearly. It's like, are you a man or are you a boy? All right? Or are you a girl or are you a woman? All right? And people are weird. And, they, and some of them want to do shit. You know, I don't personally. I like to take photos, but none of your genitals. I've never sent a, a dick pic in my life. That's probably because I haven't got much to show off about. But even still, I'd be a little self-conscious about displaying my Johnson to the entire world. You know? Wouldn't you? Unless you're a fucking dickhead. Yeah? Fucking dickhead. Fuck. Anyway. There's your balls. There's your penis. And there's your vagina. You didn't see that coming either, did you, kid? Good night.